I did, I switched on. <laughs> oh, it's quite. Thank you. Sorry, lads. Yeah, no, no, yeah. Okay. 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 3. Okay, folks, uh, welcome and uh, thanks. They were, were, were streaming there still, so watch the language. Uh, great evening, a great uh, night's entertainment of hurling, and uh, well done to, to uh, both teams for the show they put on there tonight. Excellent stuff for this time of year. I'll start by thanking the host club. The Hills Dory Bearfield did a fantastic job getting ready for this game. They had short notice. It was, it was only uh, it, it was it was it was only uh, late last week that we, that we or middle of last week that we told them that, that we needed the video and in fairness they obliged and they got um, uh, they got everything ready, they got their stewards, got got the manpower and got the place looking very well and the pitch is in great order and in fairness to St. Joseph's uh, they, they are always very helpful to the county board so I'd particularly like to thank them for their help here this week. Um, to some of our own people, Tony Brohan, Becky, and the gate checkers, and so on. Again, it's not easy to do a job like this, a job on a night like tonight. Traffic coming from both sides, and so on. It is an excellent job. Uh, Dave and all the stewards have helped out. And thank you very much for, for your help there. Our referees and our officials, Wayne King, uh, did an excellent job, I think. And these linesmen and umpires, uh, thank, thank them for, for uh, what you do each and every week that they talk all for us. Uh, our other people that helped us here tonight were well, the Michael O'Connor, Alan Foody on the video, streams of the other people watching the game. I'm sure they enjoyed it. And uh, it's, it's great to have uh, volunteers like that uh, doing fantastic work for us again, week in, week out. The boat clubs, the Roonies and uh, boat clubs in particular, uh, Concepto O'Connor in Newmarket and Patricia O'Donnell in Rouen, who were uh, the Trojan work this week. We, we, we had decided we had to, we were told we had to control the numbers here. So we get tickets out, get it out to you people. That was a headache for them, but in fairness, they just took it on and they, and they got the work done. So I'd particularly like to thank them. And finally, the players, both sets of players here tonight. tonight. Uh, you've put on an excellent show, some great hurling, some great skills, and a great future for both your clubs based upon what we've seen here. Uh, to Newmarket, well done and hard luck. Uh, you, you've battled well and you didn't give up. You, you fell behind in the second quarter, but battled back into the third quarter. But uh, unfortunately, uh, weren't able to overcome a, a, a very, uh, a very strong uh, Corofin Rouen team. So finally, to the winners, to to Rouen Corofin. I see Rouen's name has been on this cup 78, 76. I noticed. I think 78 was the last time they won it. Sir Lyons was on that team, I hear. Um, so it'd be nice to get to get the name back on uh, and with Corofin this time. Uh, look at, yeah, I understand the team is split fairly well between the two clubs, so that that augurs well. For both of you, uh, both of your intermediate sides, I'm sure will have aspirations to go that step higher. And with with lads like you coming up, I think uh, the future is bright in in both the clubs. So without further ado, I'd ask Rod Cahill and Keenan Donahu to accept the play cup on behalf of Corfin Rowan as the 2021 yeah. under 21 age. and Curran Shell Glafka, their son Fern, Curran Ruan. Well, I'm going to go to the Rator, Wayne King, August and Quiddy Fagula, um, Claire J, Kieran, Mike, um, August, Nev Yosef, Gert Lamont, and Christian, um, Don Park, and what? August, um, Gurmil Mahabuf. <laughs> I just like before Keen's going to thank a lot of the people, um, I just have two things to say. Um, I just like to pay tribute to two fantastic gales that we lost in both clubs um, this year. The Hollow Shea that's below and away was just a fantastic, fantastic man. I had an unbelievable passion for hurling and I love this group of players. Um, and just a really, really great man. Every time you met him, he shook your hand and he, no matter where you're from, Carfin or where you're from, Rowan. He'd always have a chat for you about hurling. And the second man um, is Willie Carbert, lads. Willie Carbert passed away at the start of the year. Yeah. Another fantastic, fantastic gale, like Michal. Um, developed all our facilities above in Curfin. Um, we'd have nothing, like we've, we've been training on the pitch below with lights for the last month or two. And Willie got all that for us. Um, so I'd just like to pay a tribute to them two fantastic men. Um, and hopefully they're smiling down on us today. Yeah. I want to say 
it. And um, before I pass you on to Keen, is just um, it's probably my last day in this fantastic jersey. And all I can say is to the players, supporters, managers, um, it's just been unbelievable. And everything. But from the bottom of my heart, you know, with people outside the group, they can say what they want. But I've whatever I win, this is my first thing I've won. But I've made friends for life. And. Thank the management for all the work they put in there through the last two or three months there and the, the cold winter nights. Sir, sure. we want to be sitting down and outside the fire, but <laughs> um, we want to thank the players or the committees that put in. It's great there the last two or three months and we'll see you out there tonight and try for each other in our boots. And uh, um, I want to say well done to the market there, uh, lads. We knew coming down here to go be tough battle, and I want to say give them three cheers there, lads. Uh, Hooray! Hooray!